HPV treatment option shows promise in clearing HPV infection. Now, before I proceed, let's take a little bit of a trip back in time to March in 2014. That's when we looked at the original pilot study or preclinical study. Now, this is important because it gives basically a perspective of generally how long it takes for compounds sometimes to first be discovered and then make it to market. Now, even then, we're only looking at a phase two clinical trial eight years later. A few of our audience members had just entered medical school and since then completed their residency to become full-fledged doctors. That's how long, and we're only at the phase two. So let us proceed with the study itself. And I also made a promise to our audience back then to stick with this research subject because it's a very, very important subject to a lot of individuals, obviously and report on it as research evolves, and that's what we're doing today. A new treatment option shows promise in clearing HPV infection. Now, this also is important as well. This is gonna give you a great, uh, basically, perspective on the difference between a public release, an article released for the press, and the information contrast as we begin to look at the abstract. Well, you'll see the abstract and the full studies reveal so much more that often get passed by or basically uh, smoothed over in these press releases in order, to order, in order to overly simplify the outcome. But the abstract in this case is far more compelling than the basically the public release. So let us get right into it. Daily use of mushroom extract supported the immune system in clearing human papillomavirus HPV infections, according to researchers with UT Health Houston. The study was published in Frontiers Oncology. Important, randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled phase two study supported by NIH, active hexose correlated compound, commonly referred to as AHCC. So keep that in mind as well as proprietary mushroom extract. And that's what our research was originally on back in 2014 was AHCC supplement. Patients in the placebo group or patients in the placebo group received a placebo for 12 months. Now keep in mind, this time frame, 12 months is highly important. So keep uh, that in the back of your head as we proceed forward. The study found that 14 of the 22 patients, 63.6% .6 in the treatment arm became HP negative. Now that's the public release. And it pretty much delves into basically the benefits of active, uh, basically hexose correlated compound and a few more tidbits of information. But now the benefits of going to actually looking at the abstract and the full study itself make themselves quite evident as we proceed forward. Let's begin. So I'm going to grab the abstract here. The study design, I'm going to skip a little bit ahead. Patients were randomized to placebo uh, randomized to placebo once daily for 12 months or AHCC. Now this active hexose correlated compound, as we discussed at three grams supplementation by mouth once daily in an empty stomach for six months, which you don't see in the public release, but you see in the full study with the abstract followed by six months of placebo. This is important because what the researchers are doing here is when the the people are consuming the AHCC for six months and then for another six months, they're just con consuming a placebo. The researchers are attempting to determine if the virus truly cleared or not. Often you'll hear about studies that go, well, by the end of the study, uh, there was no cancer. All right. But what they did is they took it one step further. They did the study administered the AHCC at three grams a day for six months, and then had the study keep on going for another six months as a randomized double blind placebo, just to see if the virus truly cleared or made a recurrence or a comeback. And this is what they discovered. Every three months, patients were evaluated with HPV, DNA, RNA testing, da, 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 blood samples, so on and so forth. All right, at the completion of the 12 month study, patients on the placebo arm were given the option I want you to keep this in the back of your head too. And forgive me, because I should have alluded to this earlier. To continue on the study to receive AHCC supplementation unblinded 
for six months. But for those not familiar, meaning they know that we're taking HCC. So what happened was the placebo group, uh, after the 12 months, they were saying, hey, would you like to try some HCC anyways? We have extra. And so they did. Well, the same follow-up appointments and testing with the intervention arm. Results, you ready? This with placebo group also becomes very important as well. Basically 50 women with high risk HPV were enrolled and 41 completed the study. 14 of the 22, 63.6% of the patients in the AHC supplementation arm were HPV RNA, HPV DNA negative after six months. Now that's, so they're taking the AHCC for six months. So after six months of consuming AHCC, that many were negative. With 64.3% achieving a durable response defined as being HPV RNA, HPV DNA negative for six months off the supplementation. So they didn't even know that. That's why the study itself ran 12 months. So six months of taking the AHCC, then they stop. This many are HPV negative. Then they wanted to keep on having them take a, a sham supplement for another six months afterwards, and that many they showed after six months of not taking any HPV whatsoever, HPV, forgive me, AHCC, still did not have the virus. They were cleared. But here is the amazing part too. You ready? Now, if you look at the placebo group, 10.5% uh, of the participants uh, ended up being AHCC, uh, not AHCC, not AHCC negative. 10.5% uh, of the individuals taking the placebo ended up being HPV negative, but perceived. They gave them the option of taking that AHCC. Now that the study arm was over, I'm blinded. So in the 12 placebo arm patients who elected to continue on the unblinded study, 50% were HPV RNA, HPV DNA negative after six months of the AHC active hexose correlated compound supplementation. So even the people that received virtually no benefit over time they gave the AHCC to after the end of the trial and still had those incredible results. Now, the trick is AHCC doesn't work for everybody. If you delve into the full study, there's some indicators there which will tell, to tell you pretty fast whether the AHCC may have an impact or not currently in reference to this particular outcome. Because you'll see some things on the trend, individuals which are not responders, you know, you can tell right off the bat. But individuals are that are responsive, there are certain biological indicators which you start to see moving pretty darn fast. So it's a pretty interesting thing to work with your medical professional and basically delving into. But now the conclusion. All right. In conclusion, from the full study, the results from this phase two study demonstrated that AHCC, active hexose correlated compound, three grams once daily was effective to support the host immune system to clear persistent HPV infections and was well tolerated with no significant adverse side effects reported. Again, keep in mind, this is a phase two clinical trial. Going back to that picture we did back in 2014, it takes time. I like to see things move a lot faster, but a lot of these incredible, incredible tools to help people overcome uh, these challenges that just take a long time to make it to basically uh, to something that can be utilized in a clinical setting. And eight years uh, for HPV, I expect it to move faster, but again, we deal with what we got. The more public awareness there is of AHCC in reference to potentially being a benefit in regard to this outcome, to find out who could be responsive to it, uh, who may not, it seems pretty easy. It's just up to basically the audience and public pressure to move things forward. Again, gratitude as always to the researchers. Wonderful. The links will be there for you to the full study and you can get an idea. And know what? I'll also link to the public study so you can get a comparison of what I see on a regular basis, how it is easy for incredible, 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 compelling information, important data to be easily missed in the public release as opposed to the full study or abstract itself. Again, gratitude to the researchers. I am humbled that you watch as always. And again, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I look forward to see y'all once again next week. And again, we may be looking at this video eight years from now. And 
maybe by then we'll be face with clinical trials. I hope earlier, of course, but again, I'll promise to uh, bring your information to light. As it becomes evident, these clinical studies are complete. Gratitude, thank you. We're after channel signing off. I'll see you all next time.